But first, if you're a regular bus user, you may have witnessed disagreements over who's entitled to use the space between the steps and the chairs. Often used by buggies, it's actually a designated wheelchair area. Well, today, a disabled man has won a partial victory at the Supreme Court after a dispute on a bus with a mother. As Francesca Carpenter explains, it means bus drivers may have to do more to accommodate wheelchair users. Doug Pooley arrived in London this morning, headed to the Supreme Court for a battle that's been going on for five years. It started in 2012 when a mother with a sleeping baby in a pram refused to move from the wheelchair area, leaving Doug stranded at the bus stop. Today, he and many other disabled travellers claimed a significant victory after the court ruled bus drivers must do more to make sure wheelchair users can get on. I feel really pleased with today's decision. Five years of fighting for myself, for disabled people's organisations. It's really great to get a positive decision that will hopefully make a difference in some way to disabled people's rights of access to public transport. Today's ruling states that bus drivers should consider further steps to pressurise non-wheelchair users to move. But bus company First Group says there needs to be more clarity. We still have a situation if somebody's refusing to, drive, to move, we cannot carry the wheelchair users. So in that respect, you know, we have not moved forward. Disabled um, people are saying this is confusing and that's never good. We need clarity, our drivers need clarity and our passengers need clarity. So everyone knows what they should be doing. But many people here today see the ruling as a major milestone. It means that they will now have priority in relation to spaces on buses and it will put an end to the first come, first served uh, approach. Doug says he hopes today will make a big difference for disabled travellers around the country. Francesca Carpenter, ITV News.